Hi guys, so why was Lee Anderson, also known as 30P Lee, put into such a high position, that of Deputy Chair of the Conservative Party? Well, Rishi Sunak is seen as out of touch at the moment, to put it mildly. He made a fool of himself during the leadership campaign where he couldn't do the simple thing like buy stuff, and I'm not talking about stocks and shares. He's the richest Prime Minister in modern times, if not ever, and his attempts to connect with mere mortals is either cringeworthy at best or insulting at worst. So the Tories need somebody who bucks the Etonian upper-class twit trend, and in steps Lee Anderson, former miner and Labour councillor. But will he woo traditional Labour voters who backed Boris Johnson in 2019 and are considering Starmer? Here he was talking to right-wing host Julia Hartley Brewer. Um, do you think that that would be the sort of issue that would be a dividing line? And, and what about also the issue over, over you know, benefits as well um, and help and, and the discussions that we have over things like food banks? You've been nicknamed on, on Twitter 30p Lee because you talked about how nurses aren't going to food banks. That we, people can feed themselves a nutritious meal, you say, for as little as 30p. Do you think that's the sort of dividing line that, that the Tories should have from Labour? Or do you worry that... It makes you look like, some people say, the nasty party. Well, look, I mean, if people can't tell the difference between me and somebody like, for example, Ed Miliband, then they've got serious uh, questions to answer. We're totally different, Julia. But we're a broad church in the Conservative Party. That is one thing I did notice when I, when I joined. Yes, we have heated um, exchanges. Yes, we have um, healthy debates behind closed doors. But you know what? When we've done that, we do believe in collective responsibility and we go with the majority. Uh, no, well, you all agree that you hate foreigners and you love and you love the rich. Uh, and that's how it is in the Labour Party. When I was there, it was like an abusive relationship. If you disagreed with anybody on the far left, the momentum, that was it. That was end of relationship. They never spoke to you again. So, I, I mean, I actually enjoy being in the Conservative Party because there is a whole range of, of, of different opinions. But we'll, let's go back to this 30p league. Glad you reminded me of that. I mean, this is another project that was working on to help with food poverty in Ashfield, where I represent, and we got a, a local celebrity chef involved, some MPs, the food bank, the volunteers, the service users, and we batch cooked 170 odd meals. The, the chef did it. it, it was my challenge to him. He told me he could do it, and we actually, we made meals for about 30 pence each, and what we was trying to do was help. Why were people struggling to feed their families in the, per in the first place? Lee. Because of your party. 13 years of rule by your party. Now you, of course, were not a, a member of that party for 13 years. You switched over to the Conservatives in 2019. Why? Because you think that they care about people who are poor? Like, once again, this t disconnect from these are the policies that I support, and this is the consequence of the policies I support. People being poor, people not being able to feed their families, people not being able to heat their homes. And our solution is not, let's undo the damage that we did. No, let's do some window dressing. Let's pretend that we care and go and meet uh, with a food bank and help people make meals for 30p. Look, if you buy a bag of pasta and a a jar of tomato sauce, you can make a meal for maybe even less than 30p. But that's not the point. The point is people are not being able to feed themselves nutritious meals. And why, aren't they, why are they not able to do that? Because of all the other costs. Costs of rent, taxes have gone up, council tax, bills have gone up, inflation, all of these things have eaten into whatever small amount of money people have. And then they're left with well, the last thing I have to buy is food. And look, I don't have enough. And the Tory response is, well, let's teach you how to live on less. People budget and cook and learn a few life skills. Now, interestingly, I invited... This is a guy who claimed £180,000 in expenses in a 12-month pe 12 period. And he's talking to people about how they can survive on 30p a day meals or 30p meals i don't remember which it is you know, the guy who who's on at least eighty four thousand pounds a year i don't know if he has more now that he's deputy chair of the of the party eighty four thousand pounds a year one hundred and eighty thousand pounds in expenses and he's telling people you need to budget better <laughs> 
wanted every single Labour MP to come to this food bank and take part in a, a project and not one accepted. They do not want... To- no, why would they want to come and boost your career, boost your ego? Like, how can Lee Anderson go to the food bank and talk to people there? And how is it that nobody at these food banks have turned around and said, um, and Lee, why did you vote to lower benefits? Why did you vote against free school meals? Why did you vote for um, policies that make us poorer? Why did you vote for policies that forced us into using food banks and warm banks? Why did you do that, Lee? I, re- I really wish somebody would ask him this question. If I, ha- if I could speak to him, I'd ask him, Lee, here's a list of the things that you voted for that make people poorer. Why did you vote for those things? And then why did you go to a food bank and talk about making meals for 30p? Solutions. The Labour Party. All they want is a big stick. They they use they use the, the most uh, deprived areas and the poorest people in society to peddle their nonsense. And you know what? In, in places like Ashfield, they see through that. Well, you're. I mean, say so you're an ex miner yourself. You you know you're working class lad. Um, and you say you know Labour from inside and being a Labour councillor. This is the thing. When we talk about people constantly as being victims, and the state's got to step in. My goodness, we've seen a lot of that in the last few years, have we not? But every. Okay, and then they go on about how the about the pandemic and okay, um, and how she doesn't want the state to step in. The, there is this narrative that the Labour Party just want to keep people poor, in order for them to be reliant on benefits, and this is the Tory mantra. But the Tory ma- the the Tory policies are actually keeping people poor, making sure that they remain poor, making sure that they have to rely on food banks, that they don't actually. Uh, rely on the state at all because when they go to the DWP or the work at the job centre they're told we're not going to tell you how many what benefits you're entitled to we're going to tell you what jobs you have to do and if some of these jobs don't pay well tough you have to do them but back to Lee Anderson why is he put in this position because he's presentable to the working class and this is the idea behind this is the Tory idea We need to put people in positions of power that make us look like we're on the side of of those people. So you can see people from ethnic minorities are in positions of power, not because they care about ethnic minorities. It's about deflecting away accusations of racism. Put Lee Anderson in this position. See, the the conservatives care about the working class because Lee Anderson came from the working class. When... The reality is Lee Anderson votes every time against the working class. It should be about what they're doing, not what they appear as. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.